Hi, my name is John Lenz and we're here at Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company's farm in Mansfield, Missouri. We're in one of the trial greenhouses and we're totally surrounded with marigolds, sunflowers, and cosmos. In this video, Michelle's going to show you some of the new stuff coming up for 2023, our staff favorites. With more than a hundred amazing new varieties in the 2023 catalog, it wasn't easy for us to choose our favorites. But many of us fell in love with the gorgeous stock varieties from Murakami Seed Company in Japan. Stock is hands down the most beautiful brassica. Hardy, sturdy, and oh so fragrant with beautiful edible blooms that just won't quit. One of my favorites for 2023 would have to be the vintage brown stock. Going into the trial greenhouse when we first were trialing them. They just popped out with beautiful color. They're fragrant. They're edible. They're used as a dye. I mean, they're just an all-around great flower to grow in your garden. The 2023 catalog is brimming with great new flowers to grow in your garden, and pollinators will love you for planting some of these. Senia Cosmos is a Fluoro Select winner, and no wonder. It's stunning with hot pink blooms and bright yellow eyes. You'll also want to scoop up the ice cream sunflower. Native to the southeast U.S. and mid-Atlantic coast, this pollinator beacon is perfect for sandy soil or a coastal garden. Swedia is a relative of milkweed, and Heavenly Blue is aptly named for its petite sky blue blooms. It attracts a range of pollinators, and it's perfect as a cut flower. Apricot Sprite Agastache has a phenomenal fragrance, and hummingbirds and other pollinators flock to its trumpet-shaped tangerine blooms. And don't forget the daisies. Swan River Daisy Mix is a lovely blend of pastel colors that will bloom and bloom and bloom, whether planted in containers or in the ground. Daisies have always been my favorite flower. One of the great things about Swan River Daisy is it is a low-growing variety, and so it can really spice up those kind of boring edges of your garden where you don't put anything. It also does really well in pots, and it'll kind of overlap the side of the container. It's easy to grow. You can grow it directly from seed, and it is truly, truly stunning. I don't think you'll regret it. Other stunning varieties include the Lavender Queen Butterfly Pea. Native to Southeast Asia, the butterfly pea vine can really take the heat and humidity. We love to use the blooms to make tea and natural food dye. Our new petunias from Cherny Seed Company in the Czech Republic are anything but garden variety. This family-owned company with a long tradition of petunia breeding has developed a range of big, beautiful petunias that will blow your mind. My favorite amongst the bunch is the Cosmic Cherry Superbissima. Gorgeous, double, triple, ruffled, purple, stunning flowers. Just, you gotta see them to believe them. The dainty dime-sized blooms of Leta Fire Violas really bring a shine to flower pots and window boxes or planted in beds and borders. The edible blooms are perfect for baked goods or confections. Think cool mint meets lavender, and you'll get the intoxicating fragrance of Torch Minty Ice Lavender, a variety that brings a frosty touch of elegance to containers, landscapes, and cottage gardens. And then there's Pink Beauty Amaranth, our favorite new edible ornamental. I love how productive amaranth is, and that pink color is just amazing. So you can eat it, you can harvest the seeds, it's a great variety. Sapporo Giant Number no. 4 Cabbage was a premier crop of Hokkaido, Japan from the 1880s. But if not for the work of a dedicated team of growers, it would have been lost to time. This cabbage can grow to more than 40 pounds and still stay sweet and tender, and we're so happy to offer it. No favorites list would be complete without tomatoes and indigo blue chocolate. A variety from wild boar farms hits all the right notes. The clusters of small anthocyanin-rich fruit grow prodigiously on tall vines, and it's sweet and juicy, just like a tomato should be. And to round out our list of 2023 staff favorites, 
I'm going to go with the queen of the night tomato and I actually got to have a pretty big hand in processing and harvesting that one. It's a really, really, really pretty tomato, only about this big, but we found out that if you let it have more exposure to sunlight, it gets almost black, like such a deep, dark color. And then the ones that we grew in our greenhouse here, they were more of a striped, kind of like the ones that you see in the catalog. But overall, it is a beautiful, beautiful tomato, and we can't wait for you to order some. You can order all of our amazing new varieties for 2023 at rareseeds.com.